I hope your mission is proceeding to plan, Captain. I've got your photo and your documents. Then perhaps all is not lost. We will study them back in the barracks. How about the fuel tanks? If we punched a hole in one of those, the wretched thing might simply blow itself up on a launch pad. It probably would, sir. But how do you suggest we make that hole? Ah! Hmm. Look, there's got to be some way to disable this thing. What's that bit of paper there? Test schedule for V5 rocket program. Let me have a look at that. Launch date. Heavens above! That gives us absolutely no time at all! Then how will we... Wait. Target. Good God! London! Wing Commander, what do you suggest we do? We've got no choice, Major. We'll never get that thing knocked out in time. We'll have to switch to Plan B. Plan B? Plan B, Captain, is to contact London and have Bomber Command reduce this whole place to rubble. I see. Uh, one question, fellas. Yes? The crowds built their rocket site in the middle of a POW camp so our guys wouldn't go dropping explosives on it, right? We believe that's correct, yes. So... Ah, I see. Major, how's that tunnel coming along? Work is proceeding well, sir. We should soon be able to organize the mass evacuation of the prisoners. The tunnel currently extends beneath the German compound, and I will arrange for an exit into that area to be constructed tonight. All ready for Captain Stone to use. Jolly good. Um... To reach the radio room, of course. Oh, do try and keep up, Stone. We have not sufficient time to contact London by post, Captain. So you will have to use the German radio transmitter. It is in a building within the German compound. Hello, sir. Got any news about the facility? The more I look at that place, sir, the less I like it. The place just gives me the willies. What do you know about the radio room, Nesbitt? Absolutely nothing at all, I'm afraid, sir. Maybe you should try asking McCormick. So tell me, why does the tunnel take such a crazy route? Why does the tunnel take such a crazy route? A very good question, sir. It's because, uh, the woods are closer on that side of the camp, so we thought it would make our getaway easier. All right? All right, I guess. And are you ready to make that getaway? Oh, yes, sir. It's the thought of my Auntie Lottie's homemade shortbread that keeps me going. I'll speak to you later. Ça va, Capitaine? What's this German compound I'm hearing about? The Germans have a sealed off area for the cells in the northeast of the camp just behind the Commandant's building. If you find the way in there, Capitan, I doubt your visit will last for long, unless you are suitably disguised. This way in, you mentioned. The only way I know of, Capitan, is via the new section of the tunnel, which starts in Barrack 2. I believe an exit has recently been constructed, leading into the German compound. What do you mean, suitably disguised? If you are dressed as, for example, a German lieutenant, I doubt most of the guards would dare look you in the eye. And I bet you know where I can get a lieutenant's uniform. How did you guess, Capitan? I would recommend trying the officer's quarters in the German compound. Why doesn't the tunnel just go straight out of the camp? Ah, yes. Uh, an excellent question, Capitan. Uh, the explanation is, we were uh, forced to take a route that uh, avoided seismic sensors placed in the ground by the Germans. Uh, yes, that is it. All set for the escape then, huh, do you chap? I can scarcely wait, sir. Let us hope that this time, the escape committee's plans come to fruition. I'll speak to you later. Good to see you, sir. Ever tried getting into the German compound? No way, sir. It's crawling with krauts. To stand a chance in there, you'd need to dress up as a higher-ranking officer of some kind. Bet you wouldn't get any hassle then. Where am I going to get an officer's uniform? Duchamp knows about that stuff, sir. Best ask him, but I bet he'll tell you to go look in the laundry. 
Any idea where the crowds keep their radio? In the German compound someplace, I guess. Did you try looking for a building with the radio mast on the roof? If you're planning on checking it out though, go careful. I hear the radio's manned by a pretty high-ranking officer. Hmm, but he can't be in there all the time, can he? Even the crowds have got to eat, I guess. They've got their own mess hall in that compound, but don't ask me what time the meals are served. The tunnel takes a pretty weird route. What's the deal? Ah. Well, sir, we hit rock tunneling out of our compound and had to do an about turn. Then we hung a right to avoid the remains of the old tunnel, and we didn't dare dig under the high-tech facility. So, we ended up going between the two. That's the honest truth. So are you ready for the escape? Yes, sir. It's only the thought of seeing the horizon without wire mesh in front of it that gets me out of bed in the morning. I'll speak to you later. Uh, 30 meters of copper tubing, 12 square meters of fine titanium mesh, oh, and four gyroscopes. We also require some of those little screws. You know, uh, the tiny little ones with the, uh, hello? Hello? Are you still receiving? Hello? 
Hallo, komm in Berlin, hallo! Ach, mein Gott, not again! Who keeps meddling with that fuse box? When I find that, I will have him flogged! Come in, Field Mouse. Come in, Field Mouse. This is Early Bird. Come in, Field Mouse. Are you there? Wake up! Field Mouse! Come in, Field Mouse. This is Early Bird. Starting to get just a little grouchy. Field Mouse, the message is, let slip the dogs. You got that? Sorry, I uh, didn't catch that. I only burned them sick. Let slip the dogs. Repeat, let slip the dogs. Can't believe I'm actually saying this stuff. Sorry, early bird, there's a terrible day outside. Uh, would you mind awfully seeing that again? Look, Field Mouse, the Krauts are about to launch a rocket the size of Virginia right into your backyard. Are you going to do something about it, or do I have to come over there and fly those bombers back myself? 